We go now to more news on the coronavirus. The first case of what is now being dubbed Fluorona was de detected in Israel recently. In short, it's a mix of the flu and COVID-19. Now, given that we are in the heights of the flu season, there is usually confusion about differentiating the two viruses. To put it all in perspective, we're now joined by Dr. Warren Mullings, a consultant ENT surgeon at the Kingston Public Hospital. Dr. Mullings, thanks for joining us. Hi, good evening. Thanks for having me. All right, first of all, fluorona. All right. What is the likelihood so, of someone getting flu and COVID-19 at the same time? And should we be worried here in Jamaica? It's always a risk, particularly in the older population and the immunocompromised, and particularly in the unvaccinated, that there's always a risk that you could have both infections at the very same time. They're both contagious respiratory illnesses. And, and so, yes, it's an issue of concern. Okay, given that the symptoms are similar, uh, what, is, what are the first things that someone should do if they have any of these symptoms? Well, one of the first things to do is if you think you may either have COVID-19 um, particularly and the flu is, is to isolate and do all the protocols that have been promulgated, including washing your hands, source control, which is wearing a mask um, and physical distancing. And, and those principles are true for both viruses and and get, getting tested is is crucial because there are crucial differences between the viruses so certainly covid-19 is more contagious than the flu um, it's also more likely to cause uh, serious illness in in some individuals um, the period in time in which you are infective is, is longer in covid-19 versus the flu and the symptoms of post infection such as uh, long covid symptoms are more are an issue that you don't face as much with the flu. All right, you mentioned testing a while ago. Are you saying that we should ramp up our testing for COVID-19 now? Absolutely. I, I, I am a big advocate for more testing and more certainly more access to testing and, and reducing the cost of testing because you, you really would like to know um, because the risk of severe illness is, is, is there, even in healthy individuals. And, and so... Testing is important so that you can mitigate the risk and certainly uh, reduce the risk to the general population, which is largely unvaccinated in Jamaica, unfortunately. Well, that is somewhat of a cause for concern because uh, there's already challenge in terms of the cost for testing and the number of persons. So pretty much a bottleneck in terms of persons trying to get tested for traveling and other reasons. What do you suggest can be done to make testing more affordable and available to, to Jamaicans? Uh, we've seen in recent times where there's been a reduction in the cost and testing once there is more access to testing and once more places are offered to testing and certainly getting testing um, in home kits, uh, getting more testing within uh, doctor's offices, uh, basically improving access at all points that people will um, access healthcare is important to reduce costs and improve access so that uh, we can all know and, and act from an informed position. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Pretty much out of time, but uh, thanks so much for joining us here and giving us more information on this fluorona. Dr. Mullins, uh, uh, ENT at the Kingston Public Hospital. Thank you for having me.